Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna be making a really cool effect peacock. And what I have today is just an assortment of acrylic paints. Uh, you do need some kind of squeezy paint because of the effect that we're doing. You'll need a little bit of tape just for the top of your sheet. And you'll need some construction paper. So I've got green that I folded in half and that's for the squeegee effect that we're gonna do. I also have any kind of white paper will work because we're gonna use that for the eyes and we need yellow for a beak, and we need blue construction paper for our peacock itself. So, first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some circles, okay? And this is just anywhere you want on your paper. You just wanna do little circles. So I'm just gonna take my color, Now this is all gonna squeegee, so nothing has to be perfect. You just want little circles. It's okay if they have tails, it's okay if they're not actually round, but just the best you can. Some nice circles, okay? Uh, there we go, okay? So that's our dark blue. Then I'm gonna take some green and I'm gonna do another little circle inside. Come on, little green. Okay. So what you want to do is just another circle inside or just a blob. It doesn't matter. Again, this is not about perfection. This is just a cool effect. So I like it when we get to just be creative, get our hands dirty a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take some yellow, just do a little plop on each one. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some orange dots. And then we want to do some white. So I'm going to do a little bit of white on each circle. And then just a few places on our paper. Okay, so we've got all of these ready. And then I'm going to take a minute and just let this sit for about three minutes before we do anything. What we want is for the bottom of the paint that's touching the paper to start to soak in and have that set and dry just a little bit on the bottom. Maybe the edges can get a little bit dry and that will help keep its shape when we do our next step. So while we wait for that, I'm going to take my blue construction paper and I'm basically going to cut the body of my peacock. Now you can see I have not drawn this out. This entire project is so fun because you're just using your imagination. You're just being creative. And we just want basically kind of a tubby little bowling pin or like a little squash. Okay, so I've got that cut out. I'm going to use my yellow and I'm just going to cut the corner of the yellow to make a tiny beak. So we'll be able to use this yellow again. And with the white, I'm going to cut out one eye. And so I'm just going to cut the corner off of it. That way I am not wasting my construction paper. I can use it again. And I'm just going to go in here and make basically a big oval, okay? So I'm going to take my oval like this and just make kind of a rough eye. Okay? And then I'm going to take my Sharpie and just draw my little eyeball. 
for my guy. So I think I'm gonna put him this way. I like how it has this little bit of a shape here that I can add his beak to. So basically, I'm gonna add his eye with a little bit of tape. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add his little beak. So I think we'll do it like that. So I'm just gonna use some glue and glue those on. And this is just Elmer's glue. Just get a little bit here or any kind of white school glue will work, okay? So I'm just, again, this is not perfection. Really, I want this guy to just be kind of like a little comic book character. So there he is, all ready for his plumage or his feathers. And I'm gonna leave him to dry for a few minutes. And while we wait, I'm gonna take my white construction paper and I'm just gonna cut a thin piece right off the edge, okay? I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. So we basically have two lines that we've cut out and those are gonna be his little feelers, his little plumage on the top of his head, okay? And then I'm gonna take the leftover blue that we have. And I like to cut from the edges, that way I can reuse this, my materials. And I'm sure you guys like to recycle as well. Okay. So I'm just cutting basically tiny little circles, little teeny tiny circles to go on the top of his feathers that go on his head. And all of this we're doing while our paint is drying, okay? So I'm gonna use a little bit of my scrap paper. Make a little bit of space here. Move all of my paints out of the way. I'm gonna take my cute little I almost called him a penguin, but he is a peacock. And I'm gonna set him here and start working on assembling his head feathers, okay? So I'm gonna use school glue. Just do a little bit of a dot of my school glue on one. And then just set that feather on there and set it down, let it start to dry, okay? School glue dries pretty fast which is why we use it a lot for these projects. Then I've got the other one here. And I'm gonna take it, put a little bit of school glue on it. And I'll set that here. And I'm just gonna move my guys right next to each other and cross them at the bottom. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue right there where they connect. So they're gonna start drying and getting ready to be put on our beautiful piece of art. So now I'm gonna take my, you can use a squeegee. I just took a piece of construction paper and cut it in half, but I did wanna leave this sharp edge here because that's what I'm gonna squeegee with, okay? So I'm gonna take this teal and I'm gonna go right here now you wanna make sure this is washable paint and that you have somewhere to squeegee this onto, okay? So we're basically just going to do kind of a rough shape of the roundness of their tail feathers, okay? Nothing has to be perfect. You can do a couple times because we do need that extra paint, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna take my leftover white paper and I'm gonna come underneath and I'm just gonna put it right here because this is gonna be a bit messy. And actually, I might get two pieces so I don't have as much to clean up at the end, okay? So now we're gonna take our construction paper and we're just going to bring all of this paint straight down onto our extra paper at the end, okay? So here we go. 
We're gonna take our construction paper right here at the top and we're just gonna swipe it down. You wanna go nice and slow. Okay, let's see which end is best. Let's see, this end is best. So we're gonna go nice and slow and we're just gonna bring it all down, okay? And don't push too hard, but you do wanna push down, okay? Okay, so there we go. You're gonna have different effects every time you do this. So each person in the class is gonna have a different effect because we're just being very creative in this project today. So now that I've got my paint brought down, just cleaning up a little bit, I can go ahead and put my adorable little peacock down. So first I'm gonna take his head feathers I'm gonna turn them over. They already have glue on the back and I'm gonna put them wherever I want them. So what I wanna do is pick the place where maybe there was not as much smearing as I planned, right? Because this is a creative project. So you really never know how it's gonna come out when you push down. So then my other, my man is gonna sit right here, my little body of my peacock. So I'm just gonna put, you really don't need much glue on this because you have wet paint. And as the paint dries, it's gonna glue it down. So I'm gonna take my peacock and I'm gonna give him a little bit of an attitude. He's gonna be at a little bit of a side. And look how great he looks. He's sitting there with all of his beautiful feathers behind him with lots of interest, lots to look at. Now, if it drives you crazy and you say, Mrs. McDonald, these spots are driving me nuts. This is just acrylic paint. I can stick my finger in here and I can just really quick fill it in. You can grab some of it that's blotched out and fill it right in. No one will ever know. And then you will have a near perfect, beautiful peacock. Okay, and you can even do little circles with your fingers to give your eye somewhere to look. It looks like a Kandinsky painting. You should ask your learning coach to show you a picture of Kandinsky's paintings. They're all multicolored circles. So you can go in with your finger and you can give it a little bit of interest this way where it looks like each one of these is different feathers. Okay, or you can leave it just smeared down. This is a great project. When you finish, you are welcome to submit this. If you are missing any supplies for another project, you're welcome to submit this instead. And it's a beautiful little guy. I think he looks great. And he's all finished. You just let him dry, leave him alone, and he'll be good to go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.